A long time ago, a lighthouse keeper awoke in darkness with no knowledge of himself. After an eternity, he found a spiraling staircase leading to the light at the top. With each methodical and orderly step, he took the lighthouse rotated up and out of the ground and the lid over the iris of the lighthouse began to open. She woke up rushing through the darkness on waves of blinding light. Her own body was a beautiful crystal ship. She could see the lighthouse behind her like a shining eye in the darkness. But her mind became chaos as she realized the waves were carrying her away from its beauty. She saw the lighthouse keeper was responsible for the light and felt love in every facet of her body. She tried to catch his eye, but despite all his searching, his gaze never seemed to pierce her fully. She hoped in all her heart that he'd desire her as much as she did him. But as the waves carried her away, the chaos grew in her mind. She frantically cut a mirror from her own body and used it to find she was just as beautiful. He felt his own despair grow when there was nothing but mist, even with all his light. He decided to check even more methodically, look even deeper. He continued his climb on the spiral staircase, making the lighthouse rotate up and out of the sea, higher and higher and round and round the eye went. He stopped one quarter through his first ascent, thinking he'd seen something in the mist. She had seen his gaze turn to her and desperately turned herself, cutting through the waters, causing the sails to disturb the mist and create a dark outline of her shape. The eye of the lighthouse was the only thing reflected in her body. As the gaze of the eye crossed her path, she thrust the mirror into the air, Degrees of imperfection caused the light to split into a rainbow, projecting the seductive outline of her dark body into many illusions. The mists parted for a moment, and the lighthouse keeper drew a deep breath as he saw a rainbow of seven eyes coming out of the darkness. They were so beautiful, he longed to know more of them. He suddenly had the idea to get a better look. He took the sharp edge of her mirror and used it to cut the light into two. On his first cut, the eye of the lighthouse burst into a ball of flames, throwing three waves of fire into the sea around the lighthouse. The waters then began to boil as the flames crept towards each other, creating a fierce triangle like a field of fire. She gasped when she saw the illusions projected out and was horrified to see the lighthouse keeper sacrifice the beautiful eye in a field of fire. She wished with all her soul to help him. Her childlike belief in wishing was so strong that her eyes became golden from the reflection in the field of flames. Three pearlescent tears arpeggiated a sacred cord harmoniously into the sea as she cut through the waves toward him. In the swirling mists, at the edge of perception, he saw the shifting shape of a lady in the darkness and immediately fell in love. The ominous sound of deep rumbling came from behind him as he saw a second lid slowly opened up to reveal another iris on the lighthouse. His perception of the truth improved now he had both eyes. A wave of knowledge came over him along with a new idea. Immediately she saw a resonance begin in the amplitude of the waves. Each one became higher and higher, with some even rising up to the heavens. This rained down on his fiery field, turning it to lush green, and a new central mound with two spiral pathways of earth were bursting from the sea, joining their spirits together. On it, a great impenetrable black castle was rising proudly to block the view of his beloved. She was filled with new hope being connected, and he turned both his eyes to look at her again. All he could see was the abomination of the black castle or poor impersonations of her true beauty. She frantically cut through the waves when she saw that he was turning towards one of the vilest of the seven colored illusions that sprang from her. She decided to build a rose from the sails on the crystal ship and seduce him. The fifth colorful beauty suddenly sprang a shining rose just as cracks appeared in the black castle and roses burst from it. This immediately drew his gaze, seeing even more of the light reflected in the petals of the rose. Within it, he fantasized about their children and grandchildren, 
and knew she was the one. He ran further up the staircase to see his love again. The lighthouse was rising above the castle. When its gaze focused on her rose, it began to grow and deepen its allure, mesmerizing the lighthouse keeper with even deeper illusions. She wished with all her heart to show him her true form, and as her eyes turned golden again, she transformed into a young blue dragon. Her scales were made of pearlescent ice, and on her wings was the rose itself. She wished to destroy the black castle and all the earth that separated the two lovers. The blue dragon flew towards the castle mound and blasted the black castle with its fiery ice. The roses that had grown within the walls of the castle froze and swollen with ice, cracked the unbreakable castle and causing the spiraling path of earth to recede back into the sea. As he ran faster and faster up the stairs, the lighthouse continued to rise. He could see himself and the land receding quickly back to the central mound. He had seen the true shape of the lady merge with the blue dragon and wanted to know who she was. He became so enthralled with the two roses on her wings, he didn't see that the blue dragon, the black castle, and the lighthouse were all going to collide. The black castle suddenly exploded in a flash of light, just as the lighthouse returned to the center and the blue dragon wrapped itself seductively around the lighthouse. He knew in that moment the blue dragon must be balanced. Her creativity gave him occult knowledge of the mirror, the fields, the castle, and the rose. As he ran, he used that knowledge to transform himself into his own ancient red dragon with silvery eyes. As he did so, the lighthouse began to turn golden because she wished so hard to be his equal. The lighthouse continued to rise on its own. The ancient red dragon burst from the base of the lighthouse, its feathers like flames and lightning. It coiled itself around the central column in opposition to the young blue dragon, repelling her coils slightly and freeing the lighthouse. As the dragons clashed with their breath, the lighthouse turned to meet them both. White light exploded as all three energies merged. The trees grew with fruit like you've never seen, and birds flew unknown places. As another step of the lighthouse turned golden, crystalline creatures appeared to fall out of the light and onto the earth and sea. The motion of the two dragons made earth shake, and a great crystal castle rose around the circumference of the golden lighthouse. When the Crystal Castle was completed, both dragons realized in their hearts they'd been trapped in an eternal dance. The walls of the Crystal Castle will continue to rise with the energies of the two dragons around the lighthouse. They will never return to their original forms and consummate the sacred union until the eyes in the lighthouse are finally satisfied they've seen her. Until then, she will come through the darkness in times of despair with hope and youthful energy. All you have to do is believe in the lady in the dark.